Um, but I'm glad that, I mean, yeah, everything's slowly starting to roll out and it's better than nothing. Um, looking at like now and moving forward, do you think like, how do you, what do you think the future of sports will look like? Do you think it's going to be like this for a while? Or do you think we're, do you think we'll, we are really ever going to be able to go back to what it was before or it's always going to be kind of thinking about how we can make it a safe sporting event yeah i I think the future looks digital um i think we had done some r d in digital ticketing early on like before the pandemic we were kind of knee deep in in that and then the pandemic hit and i realized okay we have to offer digital ticketing now versus later it, the, the time horizon for us wasn't that soon, but COVID forced our hand. And that's how our partnership came about with Purple Pass. You know, I, I started cold calling CEOs of these digital ticketing companies because I thought, you know, at this point, they're probably in a, in a spot where they're, the concerts and the festivals are all canceled. Um, what can we do as a company to partner with someone that already has a strong, um, you know, platform, um, robust engine that can handle a whole bunch of high schools on Friday night across the country using their digital um, ticketing platform. And that's how we, we ran into Purple Pass, um, you know, talking to, to Gabriel and seeing what they offered. And, and you guys have kind of like figured it out. It's been 12 years um, that you guys have been doing this and offering this service. And um, we initially, he, he, he got it what I was where I was coming from. And, and I, I got where, the, where you guys were, um, you know, in your business with COVID. And we were able to quickly introduce it to any of our clients, any of our partner schools that wanted it. And we had some huge school districts um, that immediately adopted it and absolutely love it. Um, some of those districts just did it for football season and said, well, we'll look at, at winter sports. And, and then they, they came around and they said, hey, it works so well during football season. We want to use it for winter sports, for basketball. And then a lot of them are rolling it out, obviously in spring sports right now. And we've been meeting with a lot of our, our partners um, and they're saying, hey, we're, we're going 100 percent digital. We still have the hybrids, I call them out there that are like, look, we got fans that maybe don't have a cell phone, don't want to go get an app or buy a ticket digitally, don't have a credit card or whatever. 